30 degree timing, not 35. So I, I don't know what's better. 30 degrees works really well. It's amazing it has not died. It sounds like it's gonna die, but this has been doing this for about 25 seconds now, and it still has not died. Of course, now my tack is acting all warm. There you go. So that's, that's basically what I think it's at. It's about 1,400. And it just won't quit. It's amazing. And that's 30 degrees timing, not 35. And also the peak RPM, I just got 7,200 with the 30 degree timing, which I was getting about 71, about the exact same with the uh, 35 degree timing. And transition seems just as good. I just can't really tell the difference between 35 and 30 degree timing. All right, here we go. just to show you the um, you have to see I have to go to the extreme here I actually took my exacto blade and cut the slot a little bit and I had to take my Dremel and mill uh, on the side of the um, actual ferrule uh, I'm sorry right in here a little bit because the screws got kind of a washer head to it and the washer would interfere so I needed to clear a little bit for the washer to get down it didn't seem to cut through I didn't see a hole or anything so it seems fine but that's what I did to get a tad more range to get it down to 30 degree timing because DLE stock timing when this is centered is 35 and I think you were able to get to about 34 or so. So I milled it a little bit, well, let's say milled, I mean took an X-Acto blade to it to get it to 30, 30 degree timing. Anyways, 30 runs, awesome. Idle, uh, didn't die. It, it sounded like it was going to die, but it never did. It would just go for a good 20, 30 seconds. And then it st still seemed to have a really good transition after idling for so long. Um, maybe the slightest burble, but man, I, I'm certainly happy with it. I can't, can't complain. Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to leave it at 30. Uh, in fact, I might just, what I'll do is I'll just go maybe one degree off. So basically, uh, I don't think I needed to uh, cut into my sensor bracket to get such extreme range. I think it would run just fine at just the, the stock end range. Uh, it's probably like going to be 31 degree timing. And I think it'll run really well right there. Because both 35 and 30 degrees seems pretty darn good. Um, my opinion, I think 30 is a little better. But I tell you, it's hard to tell. Um, they both seem to run really well. Alright, that's it. Uh, just my take. Uh, FYI, watch out for... Uh, Pacific Ace, um, I'm sorry, not Pacific Ace, uh, uh, yeah, Pacific Ace uh, hardware, uh, two-stroke um, oil, 
uh, it's low ash is what they call it. Anyways, it gummed up my uh, piston ring, froze, after about maybe three hours of running. Uh, didn't know what was going on. Uh, it dropped about 1,000 RPM. I, I could only get 6,000. Pulled the jug, and sure enough, the, the piston ring was locked in place with all the carbon, uh, nasty carbon deposit. So I tried to, I just gently pulled the ring off and took a, a jeweler screwdriver and tried to be really careful not to scratch the, uh, uh, you know, sides of the cylinder and just went into the slot and cleaned out all the carbon. Uh, and then I took a piece of Scotch Brite to the top of the uh, piston and cleaned that off. Did not touch the cylinder. So there's still a lot of carbon sit, uh, sitting at the top of the cylinder. Um, I mean, it's not horrible, but you can see it. It's It's got a, you know, a, a lot down there. But it seems to run great like that. So piston's clean, uh, cylinder's dirty at the top, but uh, I'm able to get incredible idles and good transition and everything. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's a stock DLE ignition, not an RCXL. It's a stock DLE ignition. Uh, you know, everything is stock on this engine. Uh, and the timing stock was 35 degrees, and I'm going to set it probably to 31 degrees uh by moving the bracket to its end limit. Um, yeah, you can see I also modded the, uh, I put a back into the fuselage for that. Um, I also did um, take a, uh, I polished the surface of the reeds uh, per people's advice. So I don't know if that's helping get this phenomenal idle or not, uh, but it's something you might look at. There's a lot of rough uh, surface on the reed, uh, where the, the reeds touch the plastic fr frame that they're mounted to. So if you polish that off with like, I, I think I started with some 500 uh, emery and then I went to a, a 1500 emery to get it really smooth. Um, what else have I done? I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, the spark plug's an NGK and uh, I've been playing around with 020 gap and 025 gap. Um, can't, I'm not, I, I can't tell the difference. I'm not sure, you know, which one. I left it at 025 because that seems to be what people recommend on RCU and some of the other forums I've read. But it works great either way. Um, I think DLE was, con I think I read somewhere DLE was concerned about going bigger than 025. Um, perhaps because it'd be harder on the ignition, you know, to have to generate a larger voltage spike um, to get over the bigger gap. Uh, it'd probably be harder on your... Uh, a spark plug wire too and other components um, do the voltage having to go a little bit a little bit higher uh, to get across a bigger gap so 025 was the most I set it at. Alright, bye.